Hey guys, today we're making a garlicky eggplant dish as requested by Kriana Octavia about five months ago, so sorry this took so long. Also known as aubergine, I used to think eggplant was gross, but then I actually had tasty eggplant and a love affair was born. We're going to be cooking at high heat and quite quickly, so it's important to get all your ingredients ready before taking them to the stove. As always, the complete ingredients and amounts are in the description box below. I'm putting pieces of garlic and ginger through a garlic press so that they are super duper fine and we don't bite into any chunks, because that's gross. Next, chop up a couple lengths of scallions, aka green onions. Set those aside and we'll cut up our Chinese eggplant. Chinese eggplants are long and thin, but you can also use regular globe eggplant for this too. This end bit was looking a little bit ewy, so we're going to take the skin off and see if it's still okay under there. And it's totally fine. If there are bruised sections on your eggplant, usually you can just cut those parts away and use the rest. Cut the eggplant into 2 or 3 inch sticks, about a pinky finger's width, so that the pieces will cook through quickly. Lastly, mix about a quarter cup of water with a half tablespoon of cornstarch. Take everything to the stove and heat a pan over high heat. Add about a half to a whole teaspoon of cooking oil. When the oil is shimmering hot, quickly add the garlic and ginger. The juice in the ginger will do some popping, so stand back and be careful. After a couple of seconds and a quick stir, add the chopped scallion and stir that around too. After a few seconds, add the celery. At this time, if you had other vegetables that might take longer to cook, you can add those as well. For example, if you like carrots, add some sliced carrots. It'll be nice, probably. I have to admit though, I don't really like carrots. Stir that around until the celery looks bright and green. Then add the eggplant and a cup of lentils. Stir that around some and add a half cup of vegetable broth. The broth will help the eggplant cook through while infusing it with flavor. Let this cook, stirring every so often until the broth is mostly absorbed or evaporated. Takes about a minute. Now add just about a teaspoon of rice vinegar. It's much milder than regular white vinegar and will add just a touch of tang. Add one or two teaspoons of soy sauce. Just use your judgment on how salty you want this dish, as all brands are a bit different, I find. At this point, you can take a piece of eggplant, let it cool and taste it to see if you need to cook for longer and gauge where you are on flavor. I decided that I needed to add a little more broth to cook the eggplant a bit further. When the eggplant is nice and soft, add the water and cornstarch mixture. Let that cook and it will start bubbling soon. The sauce will turn from milky looking to clear when it's done. It only takes a few seconds. Then turn the heat off and do a final taste and adjust for salt and pepper if you like. And now we have a very brown looking dish. It is deceptively full of incredible flavor though. I'm having this on a little nest of brown rice noodles, topping with cilantro partly for looks and partly because I love cilantro. And of course, sriracha. Don't bother with the other brands guys, this one is the best. And now for a taste. It is so good. If you like eggplant, you're gonna love this dish. And if you don't like eggplant, well, I am sorry to put you through this. I won't force you, but hey, maybe give it a second chance. You might just change your mind, like I did once. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already for new easy vegan recipes each and every Friday. Bye for now.